2020. It's your girl, Talisha Hunter, the amazing author of Childhood on Fire, my journey from the hell of Baltimore to high water. I'm just stopping by to let you know that my book is now available on Amazon as a paperback and an ebook version. Go get your copy now. I'm self-published and I need all the help that I can get. And if you're an author, please drop your link because I do support other authors as well. So my story, of course, is a true story based upon the events of my life, not just as a um, child, but as a developing teen, as a young adult. Um, it's a very gritty, harrowing tale. Um, it's not something that, um, you know, it, it's not one of the Alice in the Wonderland, Wonderland type of story. This is a very gritty read. I've been through a lot. That's why I titled my book um, in such a way. So as a young girl, um, I was the youngest of my siblings, okay? And my dad decided to leave. And upon his departure, it took a great toll on my mom. And she went into a great depression that took her decades to come out of. Being a youngest sibling at the age of seven, I was not able to care for myself. So I ended up in foster care. Um, after I spent some time in foster care, someone that was claiming to be in my family um, separated me from my siblings and took me from the state that I grew up in. Um, I will always say that the state of New York failed me because I was raised in a very brutal, a very unsympathetic um, environment. And um, that paved the way more than my dad leaving um, for the years to come. I was a runaway. I was homeless. I went from house to house. And um, that pattern followed me for a very long time. I was um, sexually abused, <laughs> um, which also that, you know, when a person goes through that type of trauma, it takes away your virtue. It takes away your innocence. It robs something from you that can't be readily replaced, not right away. Um, and then I suffered with identity crisis, um, disillusionment. It was really some trying times. As I reflected during those times, because I also was an addict, um, I suffered with addiction. And um, I did not like that person that I saw that was looking back. So I tried to commit suicide. And um, as I sat there one night just thinking about, you know, this is the night that I'm going to end my life. On the landscape of my mind, I thought about my sons and what would happen to them if I decide to go through with this act. And because I remember my mother sowing those seeds of faith and because God is such an amazing, <laughs> such an amazing father, who never left my side, I was able to recover. And everything that the devil thought that he robbed me of, God replaced it with so much more. So at the end of my story, I'm the victim. I am the survivor. I am the thriver. I overcame all of those atrocities. And today I want to share my story with you. I'm being my authentic self, not because I'm looking for empathy. I want to encourage, I want to inspire, I want to instill those things that were not instilled in me. So I want to be somebody else's light in their darkness. Read my story, be encouraged, be your best version of yourself. I have an author page on Facebook, reach out. If you need to um, find resources or whatever the case may be, I'm here. Um, I'm also proud to say that after all of those trials and tribulations, those tests, I am a devoted, a very loving mother. I'm a registered nurse of seven years. 
master's prepared. I'm a mentor, I'm a nurse educator, and now I'm an aspiring author. And I'm going to go out here and I'm going to show the world that it's never too late to be your best version of yourself. So until the next time, have a great and a blessed evening. Thank you.